Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to a milestone event here tonight. I'm Rusty Page, and uh, for those of you who don't remember me, I was on the air back in 1958 and through the early 60s. And uh, going back, I'm going to take you back just about to 1957, ladies and gentlemen, when all of this began. In 1957, a group of guys got together in the chorus room of Myers Park High School, believe it or not. They were all still in school and actually uh, getting ready to graduate at some point in time. Some of them did, some of them didn't. 1957. From 1957 was born a group of very talented musicians and singers who became the hottest regional band in the entire United States. You'll agree with that. From filling the pavilion in the Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, to the fraternity houses of NC State and UNC in Chapel Hill. The Catalinas thrilled them from, from coast to coast. In 1966, ladies and gentlemen, in 1966, I took the band to Nashville, Tennessee and produced a recording session for the group in the old CBS recording studios in Nashville. We drove across the mountains in a bus with no, no air brakes, as I recall. But none of us knew it, so, uh, you know, what the hell. It was a milestone event in the history of this, this group. Through the years, this group has sustained, and you heard the current Catalinas earlier tonight, but this is the group that started it all. These are the group, these are the men who today may be two, three, four hundred pounds heavier in the aggregate. They may have a little bit less hair, we don't know. But all you gotta do is close your eyes, click your heels three times, and you're back at the Park Center in Charlotte in 1958. Let's have a big welcome for the Scepter Recording Stars, the original Catalina! Thanks, Russ. There's a train in. 